And so our story begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Of course, the prince. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Uh, what? Oh, go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a prince. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, sir, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. 
Lady Elise is a delightful girl, but I don't believe your pajamas will do much to impress her. It becomes a member of the royal family to wear only the most fashionable items, if one cares about such things. The staff may be reassured by the lack of ostentatiousness in these clothes. It may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only select the best. An exquisite ensemble, if I may say so. Lady Elise is sure to find you most dashing in it. Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, sir. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. Prince. It's the prince. How nice to see you. You are looking well today, my lord. My lord. Oh, brave knight, have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. Hi. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. Staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Everyone's waiting. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lord. My, and how are you today? <sighs> I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. You're so unlucky having that statue of your brother right outside your window. I think it'd give me nightmares. Come on, let's go. It's not my place to speak of it. <clears throat> oh, yes, the king's sibling. You're not going to leave me stranded in this wilderness, are you? <laughs> <laughs>